There's growing cause for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo to resign after an investigation revealed that he sexually harassed multiple women. But not all New Yorkers want to see Governor Cuomo out. According to a Marist poll, only 59% of New Yorkers feel he should be removed from office. About 32% of those polled feel he should be allowed to finish his term. Meanwhile, black New Yorkers are rallying around Cuomo. A recent Siena College poll shows that 69% of black voters don't think he should resign. Only 22% say that he should. So why is the black community choosing to stick beside this governor? To unpack that question and more, joining me now is Sochi Namaka. She is the director of New York Working Families Party. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on this show. Uh, when it comes to showing support for Governor Cuomo, why are black people of New York the most unified bloc? Thanks, Mark, for having us tonight. I mean, the governor has been very smart uh, and really transactional in his dealings with the black community. Black communities are the backbone of the Democratic Party. We live in the most vote-rich communities, uh, from the Bronx to Central Brooklyn to Southeast Queens. And the governor has excelled uh, in uh, demonstrating his forced intimacy, as he described it, uh, and showing up in press ops with communities represents a majority of Black people. But when it comes to how Governor Cuomo actually acts uh, around Black people, it's so evident uh, from his behavior. He has no senior Black leaders in his administration, not one. Uh, he is notorious for using racial slurs, uh, for likening other ethnic groups to Black folks, for using the N-word um, uh, casually, as has been caught on on. Um, on the press, and his policies when it comes to Black communities are abhorrent. Uh, he's overseen the largest housing and overdose crisis in New York State, which obviously over, uh, sadly, uh, over um, representative in, in the Black community. Uh, he has pushed for austerity politics, not funding the public good, uh, giving corporate buyouts, uh, and and corporate tax cuts to his donor friends and really padding the pockets of the wealthy and white few in the state. And so Governor Cuomo, as you've seen, is incredibly skilled at showing two faces. Uh, and this face of the abuser doesn't just apply to the behavior he has exhibited in his executive office, but it's also been an abusive, exploitative, and transactional relationship with Black communities across the state. There's something really fascinating about this, and this long history of seeing Democratic white politicians in particular cozying up to black communities, black voting bases, making them feel good and undermining their interests. You know, from where I sit, Governor Cuomo's actions demand a resignation immediately. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What he did is inexcusable full stop. But it's somewhat puzzling to me that not only has he done these awful things, but he also hasn't done much for us. When I look at what's happened in Pennsylvania, I mean, excuse me, in New York state prisons, when I look at what's happening in the nursing homes, when I'm looking at labor issues, and I'm looking at the very personal relationships in, with, with these various communities that you just laid out so brilliantly, it seems to me that there's no good reason for black people to be supporting this guy. Is there something I'm missing here? Is, is there a cultural angle to this? You know, you know I, I wondered if maybe, you know, because black leaders have been attacked unfairly, they, they are inclined to give people the benefit of the doubt. Is it that we don't respect uh, claims of sexual harassment? Not black people in particular, I mean all people as a, as a voting base. Uh, what's going on here that I'm missing? I think that there are a couple of things uh, that are happening. I think one, absolutely, uh, we are recognizing the role that due process must play as we have never been afforded due process. So I think that Black communities, I talked to my family about this too, generally want to see a process play forward uh, before decision is made. And absolutely, that is a mm. uh, 
centrality of our democracy. Those should not be applied to Governor Cuomo in this moment, who is not entitled to a seat as governor, right? Uh, the process that we're going through is whether or not he gets the privilege of serving the state, not whether or not he should go and serve time in prison or not. He has shown he cannot serve the state. We are also the lifeblood of the Democratic Party. And I think especially after the trauma of the Trump years, uh, we are maybe comparing Democratic leaders to Trump and to that real expression of racism and fascism. And compared to Trump, Cuomo doesn't look so bad. Uh, and so impeachment carries that weight accorded and associated with someone as disgusting, vile, punitive, and racist as as um, President Trump. However, we also know that Governor Cuomo has misled and lied and directed funds, you know, to his coffers on the backs of Black people. Black people disproportionately perished uh, during uh, COVID-19, were in the nursing homes. We saw our loved ones at the front lines as essential workers. We were not given the requisite protection that we need. We were, worked, we were quite forced into the workforce without adequate PPE here in New York State because those were Black people uh, and Brown people who were keeping the state running. While the governor gave uh, immunity to nursing home executives while the governor made a $5 million book deal during the pandemic to already claim wins about the pandemic while we are still dying. The governor only thinks about himself and white men who only think about themselves, black people suffer under their hands. So we're seeing for people and for black people to thrive in the state. There is no space for Andrew Cuomo uh, in leadership. And what we're seeing in New York State is that there is a new bench of progressive and left black leaders who are championing a new way forward uh, for black New Yorkers, from Jamal Bowman to Jumani Williams to Mondaire Jones. We have a new path for leadership, and it's up to us to chart that path forward and ensure that New York State is not a state that takes black Democrats and voters for granted, but actually makes it a state where we can all thrive. That cannot happen until Andrew Cuomo leaves. I agree with you 100%. Thank you, Sochi, for your insightful comments. Uh, everybody, let me just be clear here. Give, give me the camera, y'all. I want to be clear here. Um, Andrew Cuomo is only still governor of New York because he is a white man. It is that simple. Can you imagine a black male governor accused of sexual harassment and accused of mishandling uh, COVID, accused of nursing home deaths, having bodies allegedly on his watch pass away, having numerous people complain about being harassed under his watch. Can you imagine all of that happening to a black man? And then after an investigation and a report, it shows that it's true and he's still be in office. And he's coordinating with his brother, say, on, 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 say, Black News Channel. And he's only doing interviews with him to talk about the, the crisis of sexual harassment. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine him keeping a job for, for two hours? Can you imagine the idea of people saying, look, we should close ranks and, 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 and play out the process? Nah, he'd be, he'd be done right now. The lieutenant governor would be getting sworn in the moment that report came back, if not sooner. But... Following the lead of Donald Trump, Andrew Cuomo has managed to do what? To say, I'm going to double down on my authority. I'm going to tell you the thing you thought you saw wasn't there. I'm going to show you pictures of me hugging random people and make you think that because I hug random people and because I perhaps engage in unwanted touch with lots of people, allegedly, that that somehow means that it's OK. He's basically saying, I do it so much that you can't hold it against me. I'm not going nowhere. Trump has raised the bar for what you can do as a recalcitrant, stubborn leader, that you can just never leave office and say, I don't care what you say about me. I don't care if it's true. I don't care if you have proof. I'll just keep going until you get tired. It's a bad example, y'all. But let's not, again, let's be clear. No one should do this. This is awful. Andrew Cuomo should resign immediately, but only a white man can stay in office this long. Just my thoughts. Anyway, be sure to join the conversation. We want to hear from you. Make sure you head over to our BNC Instagram and Twitter pages. Let us know how you feel. Also visit the website, bnc.tv, and subscribe to our YouTube page to check out clips from the show.